Okay guys, welcome back. Plane Mechanic Simulator. We're gonna keep on trudging. We've got through our first promotion. And uh, it just gets better and better. Let's keep that all going. Yeah, I like working in that hangar. Stay in that hangar. Nice music. Okay, guys, we don't have but just a couple of more assignments and missions uh, with the Dagger Mall. And, uh, buddy, wait till you see what comes next. All right, let's get them done. Please check down the carriage before the next flight. We can do this. Ready. That looks good. Uh -oh. That ain't no way no. Tire out. First thing we got to do, we got to get this up on the jacks, don't we? You know, guys, uh, when you think about the history of aviation, I mean, this, this is what these guys did. This is amazing stuff, man. I'm not kidding. I think you see this and you see where we're at now and this is in relative terms guys in a very very short amount of time where aviation has gone and where it's going I didn't even look at that to see if it was any good did I? Let's see here. Well, skid is damaged. I'm glad we took it out. Alrighty. Keep right on going here. Was that even? That was all right, wasn't it? No. Alrighty. Get it done. We need a skid, one wheel, and a right compression leg. Whatever the pilot, wherever he is, he, he knew what he was talking about when he wanted this stuff fixed, huh? Guys, I've really, you know, I gotta tell you, this game, this has been a love hate relationship. I'll love it a little while, then I'll hate a little while. And like I said before, I've actually deleted this game completely off my computer. Uh, on more than one occasion. <laughs> I sure did. Uh, there's not much of a tutorial to it, guys. And I'm telling you, you got to figure, without uh, videos like this, you're going to figure a lot of this out on your own. And it takes... It took me forever. But you know what? I got to be careful. Sitting here talking, not paying attention to what I'm doing. Old tail draggers. Come on, pick it up. Do we have three fuel? Yes. We've got one more major uh, project, I believe, on this. On the, on the Tiger Mall. And then we'll be done with the Tiger Mall. And boy, let me see what comes next. Boy, oh boy. Bullet hole. I'll let y'all read all that. Now, you 
tear it off, uh, hit number one, when you hit number two, you hit it again and it repairs. We got one more over here. Doozy. So uh, a student crashed the plane on his first solo. A new aircraft has just arrived, but it spent a lot of time just standing outside, so it's in really bad shape. Make sure everything works as it should before we send it to the paint shop. Yes, sir. We'll do that. Inspect the whole aircraft. All right. So first thing we're going to do when we're on here is hit good old number three and start inspecting. a whole lot out here we can expect guys. Be good. And the engine, we're just basically well no basically too. We're gonna have to tear the engine apart. Oh this damn thing. I hate it when it does this. Oh, that's fine. We got to put it on jack. You know, I, I'm just, and I, I'm absolutely amazed. I, I never cease to be amazed at guys that can program these games like this. Um, I guess I just missed my calling, but well, I, think it just never ceases to amaze me what these guys can do. And their attention to detail is just second to none. Kudos, guys. Y'all did a great job. I mean, I know this game's older. It's still, I think, what they call early access. But, and it's got a long ways to go. But, God, man, I'm glad I've got it now. Uh, I can't wait to see this game. This is one of those games that will never leave my computer. Nope. Nope. I hear you. Nope's right. I like when a guy hollers at you tells you no. No. I didn't really need to do that, did I? No, I didn't. I got have painted that wheel, though. All right. Let's get those on there. And get it off that jack. A lot quicker now that we can do two screws at one time. Well, you might say it's twice as fast. Alrighty, let's get these jacks out from under it. Alright, we'll 
keep on inspecting. Watch your holes there. Don't forget your cap up there. And I show you a little deal that I found out that just made my damn day. We'll finish inspecting the outside, guys. We're gonna tear this engine down. Hold it now. Take a look at it. No, sir. No. No. Guys on this one, they say inspect the whole aircraft. That's what we're going to do is inspect the whole aircraft. We know that's damaged. Might as well go ahead and get that off there. It's been a lot of fun uh, uh, to mess with. For me, it has been. <clears throat> been a hell of a lot of fun. Nope. But it just gets better and better, guys. I'm hoping that the next airplane that they put on here will be uh, maybe an early jet. I know that uh, jets didn't come into play, I, I think, until World War II. We're not going to worry a whole lot about this, guys. We're going to take all this stuff off anyway. Uh, and when you, of course, when you take it off, it's going to automatically inspect it anyway. So. Oh, okay, let's no. do it. Nope. Nope. Let's get the magneto off. Go ahead and set this other fair enough. And I did this uh, about five or six times before I finally got it right, guys before I realized what my problem was. What I was doing wrong. Alrighty, let's get these bad boys off. Now all this down here has got to be inspected too along with the uh, along with the spark plugs, but I will show you how to do that, which is what I had to figure out. That uh, one of those love hate things like I was talking about about this game. Now let's go ahead and get that off too while we're here. That's part of the aircraft. And if you don't inspect that cap, you fail the whole damn thing. No. Ah, uh, don't start this shit. No. Yeah, it's going to. Ah, damn it. 
sometimes it does and sometimes it don't. It's supposed to release every, all pieces and then the, uh, the barrel filling and everything will pop all right out. Now maybe we go. Yeah, it did. thing I love about this game guys the more advanced the technology no. you go through it is the more attention to detail these guys pay you watch watch what I'm saying no well, I'm letting the push rod come out no yeah oh well no biggie no. faster this is just just by being able to take two balls off at a time makes it a lot quicker Covering that you don't have to the wait, you can move on to the next part. That's helped a lot too. No. This was one of my sticking points. I didn't see this stuff in there, so I was trying to fix the engine and leaving the leaving the push rods in there. So that was one of my sticking points. Alright, so we got everything out of the engine. But here is where I look, look back there. You see those heads lined up back there? I had no idea that that happened. And I went, I rebuilt this engine about four times before I finally looked back there and I saw those. I went, what the hell is that? And I realized what it was. So, and I'll show you something else here. Uh, this is the first uh, time that the guys in this game paying attention to this one little part that uh, was keeping me from from uh, passing this level. And it's right there, guys. You see that head gasket right there? That right there was caught. I, I did this level about four times before I realized that that one part right there was keeping me from passing. The damn head gasket. I never was so happy to find anything in my life 
than I was to see these things parked back here for this. Nope. First, I just assumed that when these things came off, these parts were put into inventory and were examined. But unless you take them apart, they're not. And it's just, this is brilliant, guys. I'm telling you, this is absolutely brilliant. The way they do this. It's the tedious, monotonous things of a, of no. a game that make it, as far as I'm concerned. Nope. And because I learned this, I knew what to look for on down the line. I think that helped me figure out other parts of the game. You'll see you'll know and you won't have to figure out like I did. Watch your hold, no. I'm telling you the guys that make these are just incredible. I'd give anything to meet them. There you go. That's everything. All right, we checked that, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. Just kind of looking around, seeing if there's anything I might have missed, and I, I know there's not. So. All right, let's see if there's anything we can fix. Yep. Well, this thing's in bad shape, isn't it? Right in the middle. Well, it was stored, the brand spanking new. Let's see what else we got. Oh, you know what? Let's see if we got anything else. Nope. Another. Oh, I get all gray like that. See, head gasket. That is why I was failing this time after time after time. And uh, my first revelation was when I saw those those heads stacked up back there. And then when I still couldn't do it, I just happened to run across that head gasket. I just, it was like one of those aha moments. And I'm telling you, it's like first, first chick, first child. Just absolutely amazing. All right, let's get this bad boy back together.
They don't ever want to. weather alerts back home in Texas. Somebody's still catching. I'm in Massachusetts, by the way. Work here in Massachusetts. Live and work here now. I'd like to really know uh, what that guy's talking about when he talks about, and you hear it so many times, 2.15, on September the 3rd, he told me 2.15. This kind of sticks out more than anything else you hear, on, to me, on this game, that sticks out more than anything.
Good guys, we missed something. Dead gummy, what the hell did we miss? Yeah, something's not right. We've missed something. That should have been inspected. Oh, I hate it when this happens. Dead gummit. That means we gotta figure out what it is we missed. We have anything left in inventory? No. That means we missed something, guys. Damn it. Hey, thank 30 minutes worth of recording for nothing. Hold it. Up the hair. guys we're gonna call this video right here I'll pick it back up as soon as I figure out what it is I've, I've missed I'll uh, pick it back up and we'll get going with it okay I appreciate y'all watching see you in a little bit